CataractCoach.com Zepto Link for precise capsulotomy. The new Zepto Link device integrates with your FACO machine. It makes life really, really easy. So here it is. There's the device. You can see it's mounted to your FACO machine. Well, how do you control it? Well, just using your normal FACO foot pedal. How's to build vacuum with your FACO foot pedal? So again, here's a routine cataract case. Actually, this is a tough case. High myope, we're gonna put a torque lens in. You can see we're making about a 2.2 millimeter incision. Any size incision, 2.2, 2.4, whatever you got, it's all good with the Zepto. Now here's the device. Now my technician is handing it to me. I'm examining it without the microscope first. And now let's bring the scope over, let's look. And you can see there is the device. Everything looks great. Let's go to the microscope here. Now the device is collapsed before it enters the eye. That's why you can create this 5.2 or whatever size capsule you want through this tiny incision. So you collapse it, there it is, going through a tiny 2.2 millimeter incision, set it up in the eye, now open it, and you can place this rexus or this capsulotomy anywhere you want. So I'm just going to spend a little bit of time here getting it set up exactly where I want it. I'm looking at the Purkinje Lyman images. I'm looking at where it centers up in the eye. That looks pretty good to me. Now, on my FACO foot pedal, let's hit the pedal. So vacuum on the FACO foot pedal, pedal goes down. On the top left corner, you see the machine counts down 10, 9, 8, 7 seconds. The new versions will count on even fewer seconds if you'd like. But here's a 10 second countdown and then, boom. 0.004 seconds, so four milliseconds of time for energy to be delivered, and there you go, beautiful capsulotomy, and you're done. Pull the device out of the eye, and now continue with your case. Now you have a very precise, very exact 5.2 millimeter capsular opening, and on top of that, it's very strong. Now, there's the capsule tissue. I'll put it on top of the cornea so you can see what it looks like. And let me show you the rest of the case. I'll show you the whole case unedited. Now, at this point, saying, okay, you got a capsule, capsule rexus, capsulotomy. The edges of it are rolled, so it's very strong. So here I'll do some hydro dissection, nice and easy. You know what? I'm going to prolapse the lens out of the bag. What about the rexus? It's strong. It's much stronger than the rexus or capsulotomy you'll get from a femtosecond laser. So in that sense, it's better than a femtosecond laser. So now we're going to go inside here. You see the nucleus is tilted up out of the capsule bag. Go on the FACO probe, chopper in the other hand. You know what's going to happen next. We're going to make short work of that lens nucleus. Here's a chop. Boom. Two halves created. Emulsify each half and then go. Now, yes, I love this device. It is fantastic. You... I think we'll find many uses for it in your own operating room. Like in an intumescent white cataract, I cannot think of a better device. Remember, four milliseconds. So many, many times faster than a femtosecond laser to create that capsule opening and minimizing the risk of Argentinian flag sign. Plus think about other, other cases like loose sign or support. Easy to get the Rex done. Even a routine case like this I can be insured of a great capsular opening that's beautifully round, perfectly centered wherever I place it, and strong. The edges of this capsulotomy are very strong. They're rolled over. They're stronger than you can get from a femtosecond laser. And so when you clean up the cortex here, everything looks pretty good, nicely cleaned up. Again, makes the surgery pretty easy. You notice the back flush from the Zepto device actually gave us a little bit of hydro dissection too. So I'll clean up the capsule bag here. Here's vacuuming and cleaning up the lens epithelial cells from the under surface of the anterior capsule rim. You can see there's the capsulotomy opening, beautifully centered, very nicely done. You can see it's perfectly round. Let's put the viscoelastic in. We'll do a little capsule polishing and get the lens in the bag. Now, I do work with Centricity Vision. I do have my financial disclosure is I do work with them. I'm a consultant for their company. And I think if you try this device, you'll become a fan too. So just putting it out there, I want you to be able to see what is available to you. And the nice part is in our surgery center, this costs less than half as much per case as a femtosecond laser. And again, it creates a capsulotomy that's at least as accurate if not better, and certainly stronger than a femtosecond laser. 
And I think there's really no downside here. So I think it's a neat device. Here comes the IOL. I'm going to put the IOL in the capsule bag. This patient's going to get a toric monofocal IOL here. And it's going to get those arms to open up. There's the toric monofocal lens. Now look at the capsulotomy opening. You obviously know that's a 6 millimeter optic. Look at that capsule opening. Pow, 5.2 millimeters. And look how pretty that looks. So fantastic outcome here. Go inside the eye. Let's remove the viscoelastic. And then what I'm most happy is that it's a very strong capsulotomy, capsule opening. And it's going to keep the lens beautifully centered. And I can place it wherever I want. So even if I had a tough case of a traumatic cataract with, you know, decentered cataract lens nucleus, I can still place the capsulotomy wherever I feel is best. So here's lining up that torque lens. Look at that overlap. Just about perfect. You can't get better than that. So seal up the incisions here to send this patient home. Very happy patient. Very happy surgeon. I encourage you. Check it out. Again, it's the Zepto link from Centricity Vision. Yes, I do work with a company as a consultant, but I bet you, even if I didn't, if you try this device, I promise you're going to love it. It really makes cataract surgery just this easy. And remember, cataractcoach.com, our teaching website, new video every single day, and our podcast, the best podcast in all of ophthalmology, every Sunday, wherever you find your podcast. Check it out.